Discover the luxury bath difference. And it's hard to believe that we have some severe weather moving in tonight because, my gosh, it was such a pretty day. Mm -hmm. Still is pretty much, right? You're right, for sure. It's still light outside, so woohoo. Oh, yeah, it's absolutely beautiful out there, and our skies are clearing up right now, so it's kind of deceiving because those clouds will look like they're moving out, which they are, but we will see more clouds moving in later. But right now our temperatures are in the high 70s, 81 in Wichita Falls. It's absolutely beautiful and warm out there right now. So if you do need to get outside, now's the time to do it because this evening, late tonight, we'll see some storms moving in. You can see those clouds moving out right now, but this low pressure system that's already making some storms in New Mexico and Colorado is gonna make its way into our area and it could bring us some chances for severe weather this evening. You can see that low here on our upper level weather pattern and that'll bring us our thunderstorms and it's giving us that lift that we need to see some severe weather. We do have a slight risk for almost all of us. Most of us are in this yellow and that enhanced risk is very close to our northern counties. That's where we're gonna have the biggest potential to see some severe weather. So here's the timing for that this evening. We'll see a couple rounds of this. The first round looks like it'll mainly be in the northern areas. That's gonna be late tonight into early tomorrow morning. And then in our southern areas, we could see some pop-up showers down to the south earlier, but most of that'll be late tonight and very, very early tomorrow morning. Now our biggest risks here are going to be large hail. We could see up to two inch hail, maybe larger, damaging wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour. And we can't rule out the possibility of a tornado with these storms. They are going to be pretty strong supercells in some areas, but that's mainly gonna be located to the north of us. In that red there, you can see the largest hail, but all of this hatched region has the potential to have two inch hail or larger, which is potentially very damaging there. And you can see we do have a 2% chance for tornadoes in most of this area and five in the brown. So we do have a risk there, as we always do for uh, Oklahoma in the springtime, but it's not that big of a risk. We could just see an isolated tornado. We're not expecting them to be very strong either. You can see these supercells moving along I-40 there. That's around 2 in the morning tomorrow. That's very late. We'll see some pop-up showers down to the south as well. And most of that will move out very quickly, and we'll be in the eye of the storm here. You can see that low pressure sitting directly over us, giving snowfall for the Texas Panhandle. We could see blizzard-like conditions there, but it's not really going to make its way into our area. We'll see it clear out mainly. Could see a couple flurries up to the north, but most of us are just going to see cloud coverage for tomorrow. We do have a significant hail index along 40 in most of those northern areas, but we also could see some down farther along 44, could see some large hail with those storms that do pop up down there. We have a wind advisory for most of us tomorrow due to very strong wind gusts and a high wind watch for the Texas Panhandle for Childress, Cottle, and King Counties. So it's gonna be a really windy day tomorrow. You can see gusts up to 50 or 40 miles an hour. We'll feel that as well with the fire conditions. We'll have elevated fire threats for tomorrow, but we'll warm up into the middle of the week. You can see this large ridge moving in, and then our next chance for a cold front is gonna be at the beginning of the week next week. So we have a little bit of time before we see some more fronts after this weather tonight. You can see we'll have those storms tonight, It'll cool off greatly into tomorrow. We're almost 20 degrees cooler, so that'll feel a lot different. And then we'll start to warm up again as we go into the late parts of the week. McCafe Iced Coffee is the perfect reward for making it through those mornings that deserve a reward.